Hello again to all my dinner guests and thank you for joining me for another video. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how I make my acorn squash pies. All right, so after washing and then boiling my acorn squash um, for about 20 to 30 minutes or until they were easy to poke with a fork, um, after that, I set them aside and let them cool down. And then after they were cooled down, I cut them in halves and then scooped out the seeds and then scooped out the acorn squash and placed it in a mixing bowl. Okay, so here I'm going to brown up one stick of butter. All right, so you want to give that a stir periodically. And then once you see the little brown bits at the bottom like so, then it's ready to go. Then you want to set it to the side to cool down. Okay, so I bought my pie crust. I didn't make it homemade. So I'm going to par bake them for about 15 minutes or so and then give the squash a good mix. And I know you guys seen the piece of skin right there, but don't worry, I got that out. So be sure to make sure all the skin is out and all your seeds are out. All right, so after my butter browned up and cooled down, I'm going to add it to my acorn squash. And then give that a good mix. And then I'm going to add my sugar. And then after that, I add my brown sugar. Now don't be scared to try this pie guys. I'm telling you, it tastes nothing like how it sounds. It's actually a cross between pumpkin pie and sweet potato pie, more so pumpkin pie. So don't be afraid to try this guys, it's really good. I wouldn't tell you something that I didn't taste and like my own self. So yeah, just give it a try and tell me what you guys think. All right, so right here I'm adding a half a can of evaporated milk. And the instructions, ingredients, and everything will be in the description below. flour here to thicken up the batter because um, acorn squash for some reason the batter is really watery and so you want to thicken it up so you don't have a watery batter all right so you give that a good mix so the pie crusts are done and I'm going to go ahead and add the filling So we're going to go ahead and place them into the 350 degree oven for about 55 minutes or an hour. Okay, so while we're waiting on that, the babies wanted to say hi to you guys. This is Nyla and Mia, my twin girls. They're 11 months old. All right. Okay, so there you have it. After an hour, you have your delicious acorn squash pies topped with whipped topping. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, could you please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And remember, with God, all things are possible. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.